I'm Coyote Peterson, and this is Baby Toucan Feeding Time. Watch this. The Alturas Wildlife Sanctuary has a very clear mission when it comes to Costa Rica's wild animals that are in need of help. Rescue, rehabilitate, and ultimately release them back into their natural environment. But what about the animals who cannot make a full recovery? Located in the coastal town of Dominical, Alturas also calls itself home to nearly 50 permanent residents. These animals cannot be released back into the wild because of disability or severe over-domestication. And while some of these permanent residents are covered in fur, it's sloth feeding time. Many are actually of the feathered kind. So this morning I will be sitting down for breakfast with one of their newest additions, a baby toucan. This is the real Fruit Loops right here. This is fresh cut fruit. And what I'm about to do is feed it to a baby toucan. It smells really good. This looks like something that I would eat for breakfast, so I have a feeling that this toucan is absolutely going to love it. Oh boy, here he comes. Oh, look at that. That is a baby toucan. I have never seen one of these before. That is so amazing. You look like a little dinosaur. Look at that curious head. Look what I've got. Now, if I was a mama toucan, I would come in with some fruit just like this. There you go. Oh, he's eating the spoon. Look at that beak, quite the chomper. There we go, coming in, coming in hot. There we go. And although it's a juvenile, that beak could still give me a pretty good chomp, so I want to keep my fingers away from there. That's why I'm using a spoon. Here you go. When fully grown, the toucan's bill can be nearly seven inches in length and will continue to evolve in coloration, being a mix of red, orange, and green. Just like a mama bird, gotta get that way down in there. Okay. So have you ever fed a toucan before? I have never fed a toucan before. It's the first time for everything. Did you know that Fruit Loops is actually my favorite cereal? And as a kid, I used to love Toucan Sam. So hanging out today with this baby toucan, getting to feed it real Fruit Loops is a pretty cool experience. Oh, give me back the spoon. He's trying to eat the whole spoon. We've got all kinds of good stuff in here. We've got cantaloupe and pineapple and banana. There you go. You got some of it on your beak. Look at those eyes. Look at how big and buggy his eyes are. And without the feathers fully developed on the neck, you can see the curve of that vertebrae. Look at the feet. You see that? You know what it looks like? Reminds me of a baby pterodactyl. These birds have what is known as zygodactyl feet, with toe sets facing in opposite directions. This foot structure, with two toes in the front and two toes in the back, allows them to easily maneuver in the lush rainforest canopies. In a baby toucan of this size, obviously up in the trees, it's very important that he uses these claws to keep himself in the nest and on the tree branches. Now this baby toucan eats four times a day and quite a bit of food. Oh, I know, I hear you. More, 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 he says. You okay? There you go. It's always nice to have a friend over for a breakfast conversation. And right now we're talking about what it's like to be a baby toucan. It's a rough life if you fall out of the nest. If a baby toucan falls from the nest, it's almost certain to be picked off by a predator. However, in the case of this lucky little bird, it was found by a human who did the right thing and brought it to the sanctuary. Now hopefully this baby toucan will be able to be rehabilitated and eventually released back into the wild. So we don't want to become too acclimated to humans, but it is important that this bird does eat several times a day to keep up its nourishment. You are one sloppy eater, you know that? He is a sloppy eater. I think you're getting more of this fruit on the log than you are in your mouth. Oh, look at his little tail. Look at that little tufter. More? Yes, that's a good breakfast, isn't it? This right here is the breakfast of champions. Fruit for the Fruit Loops toucan. There you go. Oh, it's like feeding a baby dinosaur.
Because this toucan could not be returned to its nest, it will be raised in captivity and will become a permanent resident at Alturas. And whether you are covered in fur or feathers, each and every member of this incredible family of animals is living a happy and loved life. How awesome was that? Spending the morning feeding a baby toucan. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. Eat your breakfast. We'll see you on the next adventure. The Alturas Wildlife Sanctuary is constantly welcoming new volunteers to help with the rescue, rehabilitation, and release of Costa Rica's beautiful animals. For more information on how you can become a part of the team, visit their website, alturaswildlifesanctuary.org. If you thought feeding a baby toucan was cool, check out the time I had an apple eating contest with the cassowary. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Whoa. Did you guys just see that? I'm gonna say that was three seconds. That cassowary literally just swallowed that apple whole.